Hey, welcome back. Uh, I want to talk about communication. I want to talk about how we communicate in the game. We've had, in my kingdom, issues with communication. And it's led to us uh, having a civil war and splitting in two. And there's been just a lot of issues between groups of people. Um, it's hard. You know, I've, I've talked to several individuals you know, inside my kingdom and outside my kingdom about issues with communication and a lot of it stems from, you know, different cultural backgrounds. Translator, the translator in the game, different perspectives, different phrasings, uh, different expectations of each other. And it leads to a lot of dissent. It leads to a lot of, um, just taking things that are said and using them or thinking of them in the wrong context in the wrong light in the wrong way using the wrong lens so trying to adapt to people is something that you need to learn within your own kingdom so that you can use you know what you know about them to be able to speak as best as possible to them so they can understand what you're saying so they know that if you do happen to misspeak uh, for them from their culture from their background uh, that they know to you know check back with you hey did you mean this because the way i received it kind of seemed like you were trying to tell me what to do or bully me or this seemed racist to me uh we need to we need to keep that uh, that in mind when we speak with each other because we have we have such a mixed game in rise of kings a mixed culture uh, different backgrounds people having different life experiences and with the translator it doesn't make it any easier it makes it really hard so trying to really clarify make sure that people are understanding what your intentions are what you mean by something so that way you, you stay on good feet. Um, there's lots of examples that people have given me. Some are funny, some are not, some are sad, where there's been issues just purely off of the translator. Things are taken completely in the wrong direction and whole entire subject matters have been just blown apart because of the phrasing or the translator or things not being understood or something being culturally insensitive without anyone ever knowing. So that's been bothering me. Um, I've had someone that I considered a friend, um, I think feel disrespected, not appreciated. Uh, and I never really saw it through that lens. I, I still have a, I still struggle with understanding, um, if I had a part in that. And if I did, I I really wish that I would, I I knew how I did. So that way I could, um, you know, make amends for it. I, I don't know how, but you know what? I, I really want to make sure that in the future that I'm, I'm more aware of that, aware of me saying thing, what I'm saying, what things I don't say, maybe not speaking up on behalf of others, like explaining like, Hey, this may come off in the wrong way. And also I don't want people to feel like they have to tiptoe around everyone either. So it's kind of a double edged sword here, but you know, it just comes down to let's talk respectfully to each other. I don't think anyone here is, you know, intentionally trying to ruin someone's day. And if they are, there are going to be people like that. And we just need to, you know, collectively be like, hey, that's not cool. Move on. Uh, Know that some people are trying to get a rise out of others. And, you know, we deal with those type of people in real life. Um, and we, we try and avoid them for the most part. At least I do. If there's someone that's always trying to get a rise out of me, I kind of just don't give them the time of day. Um, it seems to work for me. 
but guys, um, let's, uh, let's work on our communication with each other. Cause I, I know it's difficult. I, I think that we all can do better. Um, and I just kind of wanted to talk about that for a minute. Uh, thanks for watching. If you got to this point, um, I hope to have more time this week, make more videos. Uh, this one was just kind of off the cuff. And if you enjoyed my little rant, give me a thumbs up and hopefully I can catch you guys on the next one.